the case of Marshall Applewhite. Born on May 17, 1931, in Spur, Texas, Applewhite initially showed signs of a promising future. He pursued his education with fervor, earning degrees in philosophy and music from prestigious institutions like Austin College and the University of Colorado. He even became a respected music professor at the University of Alabama. But beneath the surface of his seemingly successful life, Applewhite struggled with his own inner demons. He battled depression and a sense of unfulfillment that would eventually lead him down a dangerous path. In the early 1970s, he became entangled with a psychiatric nurse named Bonnie Nettles, who would prove to be his most significant influence. Nettles convinced Applewhite that they were two beings from another planet who had been sent to Earth with a divine purpose. This delusional belief became the foundation of their teachings, which they later called Heaven's Gate. Applewhite and Nettles believed that Earth was on the brink of destruction, and only by shedding their human forms and ascending to a higher plane of existence could they escape impending doom. Their ideology attracted a small but devoted following. Applewhite, now assuming the title Do, and Nettles, known as T, preached a strict regimen of asceticism and detachment from worldly possessions. They urged their followers to sever all ties with their families, careers, and personal belongings, convincing them that a higher calling awaited beyond the material realm. As the group grew, so did their radical beliefs. Applewhite, now the sole leader following Nettles' death in 1985, became convinced that salvation lay within a passing comet named hale -Bob. He claimed that a spaceship trailed the comet, waiting to transport their spirits to a higher realm. In an eerie twist, he prophesied that mass suicide would facilitate this journey, and the date was set for March 26, 1997. On that fateful day, 39 members of Heaven's Gate dressed in matching black attire and sporting armbands reading Heaven's Gateway Team, committed suicide in a rented mansion in Rancho Santa Fe, California. They ingested a lethal cocktail of phenobarbital mixed with applesauce and washed it down with vodka, each one laying peacefully in their beds. News of the mass suicide sent shockwaves through the nation. The world was left grappling with the incomprehensible tragedy, struggling to understand how a group of seemingly normal individuals could be swayed to commit such an act. The aftermath of Heaven's Gate brought attention to the dark underbelly of cults, sparking intense scrutiny and debates regarding the nature of religious fanaticism and the manipulation of vulnerable individuals. The investigation that followed delved deep into the inner workings of Heaven's Gate. The authorities discovered a meticulously maintained website that served as the group's online presence, complete with detailed documents and videos outlining their beliefs. The materials offered a chilling glimpse into Applewhite's charismatic hold over his followers and the psychological techniques he employed to maintain control. In the aftermath of the tragedy, the families of the victims were left shattered and searching for answers. Many struggled with guilt and a sense of responsibility for not intervening sooner. This tragic event highlighted the importance of understanding the signs of vulnerability and the dangers of charismatic manipulation. Marshall Applewhite's life serves as a haunting reminder of the potential dangers lurking within the human psyche. His delusions and desperation led him to orchestrate a crime of immense proportions leaving a lasting impact on the lives of those who fell under his spell and the collective consciousness of society as a whole. While the story of Marshall Applewhite and Heaven's Gate is filled with intriguing details and disturbing revelations, it ultimately serves as a cautionary tale. It reminds us of the fragility of the human mind and the importance of critical thinking, empathy, and vigilance against manipulation. The aftermath of Heaven's Gate prompted a reevaluation of how society approaches cults and fringe religious groups. 
It led to a greater understanding of the psychological dynamics that play within such organizations and the need for early intervention and support for individuals who may be susceptible to extremist beliefs. Marshall Applewhite's legacy remains a chilling reminder of the devastating consequences that can arise when individuals succumb to delusion, searching for meaning and purpose in all the wrong places. It urges us to foster a society that nurtures mental well-being, encourages critical inquiry, and promotes compassion so that others may not be led down a similarly destructive path. In the end, the crimes committed by Marshall Applewhite and the tragic loss of life at the hands of his followers serve as a somber reminder of the darkness that can dwell within the human soul and the profound impact it can have on the lives of many. We hope you enjoyed this case overview, presented by the Emmy Award-winning Crime Sonics. Be sure to give us a like, leave a comment and subscribe for more content just like this.